you don't want them sitting around doing nothing half the game and then just coming in for the late game. You want them doing things all game, you know, just having that threat there. Like just having them on one side of the board means they can't move their vehicles up that way. Because they know the storm boys are just gonna jump and charge them and then kill them with that power claw. Or they just they just can't move those weaker squads or they have to keep other squads back just in case. So although, although your storm boys aren't necessarily doing anything directly, indirectly, they're making your opponent very scared, especially first term. You're like, oh, storm boys, I haven't seen those very often. It's like, roll, and you're like, Woof. all right, I moved. And you're like, what? They're like, holy crap, what am I gonna do to stop? And they're like, these guys can move so fast. So they're like, oh, my God. so they're, they're thinking, how am I gonna defend rather than how am I gonna attack you so much? And so it's good to get them on the back foot in, in that way and so mentally. And so obviously you can't reliably have them mentally because, you know, people are smart, they'll learn, but it's good to have them on the board, regardless. So we come to the special character you're going to upgrade them to, Zagstruck. Now Zagstruck is, he's pretty fun, he is, and so for those of you who don't know, Zagstruck, is, he's a special character, but he, he doesn't so much have a power claw, he, he has a power claw on the charge because his feet are talons. I don't have the model for him, sorry guys, just because... I don't think I would ever use them unless it's an apocalypse game where I'm just having so much fun. Um, I guess a game with friends. Maybe I should probably get the model. Anywho, you have to deep strike with them no matter what. But the cool thing is, is that the turn you deep strike, you can charge. And so if you risk it, you try to deep strike right beside some enemy units. If you don't scatter into the mishap, then you can charge them. Again, very unreliable and crazy. And you also lose D3 Storm Boys. So one to three Storm Boys are just gone when you come in just because of the craziness of the Vulture Boys. And so, you know, the fluff is awesome. They're coming like, and they're just right in the combat and they're, they're awesome. But when he's not charging, so say he doesn't get that, he's not within six inches of an enemy unit or, you know, there's difficult terrain involved, but he can't get the charge off then if someone charges you, his weapon no longer counts as a power claw. Like, it's just, you know, your normal, normal, like, it's like an strength four, so it's just, like, nothing special. So it's just, you know, it's like, meh. <laughs> however, however, if he does get that charge off, it's a power claw at initiative four, which is crazy, which is, is fantastic. So it's like strength nine charge on like, on initiative four. I mean, you can do a lot. Like usually, it's just so annoying. Like you can kill a lot more before they can kill you usually. Because a lot of things are initiative three, four, or the other power claw or power fist or initiative one. And so you, there are just possibilities where it could be useful. But most of the time, most of the time, it's more reliable and more tactful to to bring them in without Zagstruck. Zagstruck is very, very expensive for what he does. Compared to a knob, it's like, it's like double, triple the points. No, it's like, it's about double the points. And so, what I recommend to you guys is, I mean, if you want to bring him in for fun, by all means, he can be effective and can be fun, just like a weird boy can. But bring a knob, power, power claw boss pull, bring squads of 15 to 20, and just bring him in, keep him in cover, jump him through, and actually, I'm gonna show you guys how fast they can actually move. Okay, so you'll often find myself using my trucks as a screen for the storm boys in behind. And the reason for this is because the trucks, if they clump up enough, they can completely block line of sight. And there's no reason for trucks to point any which way. Their, their big shoot is basically like a, it's, it's a turret, so they can shoot really anywhere around as long as like you can see. And so it's just, trucks are very maneuverable. And so you can use that advantage with your storm boys. And so you move your trucks up, your 18 inches. I know, it's ridiculous. All right? And so they're just zooming up the board. <coughs> and so then you and then you have your storm boys in the back and you get 12 plus Oh, one died. One dies. <laughs> but they can still move those 13 inches. Okay, and so as you're advancing, 
Okay, obviously you want more Storm Boys and see I custom made this guy. You know, to make him look like he was flying and then like a week after like Games Workshop came out with their new Storm Boy models. And this guy just doesn't stand up at all. So he's gonna go over here. He's gonna be the one who died. So you move up, but I mean obviously on average you're gonna be over here more. But at any rate, anything over on this side, like anything over here, cannot shoot these guys. Because they're just completely blocked. And if we want to get technical, we could even spread it out even more if they're having more trouble. Okay, so you can get a nice wide screen and your boys can come up, your stone boys, and they can actually relatively quite safe. And if you use terrain to your advantage, like on the sides, they won't be able to shoot in. Just make sure stuff can't get a direct line of sight on your storm boys. And then next turn, you know, or even, you know, this turn, obviously it would have to be next turn, you know, assuming that the board was a lot further. Next turn they move up, they move up, they say these guys unload, and they go out. Okay, so some guys pretend there's a normal boy, they get out, they charge. These storm boys, next turn, Four, 12 plus 4 is 16. They're moving way up there. They can easily hop over the trucks. Doesn't matter if they explode. Hopefully they don't green backwards. <laughs> but they can easily jump over, assault, or if the boys manage to clean up everything, or are, you know, you think you have enough to kill anything over in that area, they can just jump all the way over here. Or all the way over here. Like, look how big that range is. I mean, just off the screen, obviously, but they can move so fast. And so if you don't have that truck screen, obviously just hug terrain a bit more. You know, if there's stuff over here that's dangerous or the stuff over here just, you don't even have to move their full movement because they can move so dang fast. And so you either want to hug this pyramid or hug this hill over here. Just make sure they have cover in some way. And so they're on the board, they are a threat, you know, so they puts the opponent on defensive back footing but they're, they're on the board, they're not deep striking, so they, they just, you position them, and so when the timing is right, you charge in, and you smash them eds. So just quick recap, storm boys move very fast, but they are very expensive, and so you don't want to just throw them away like normal boys. Because normal boys can do, you know, tons of damage, but sometimes you just don't care, like, if you trade a big squad of boys for another, like, big squad of elite units, you're usually ahead, and you're fine. But with Storm Boys, you don't want to trade so much as you want to hit what, what is weaker. You want to kind of around, run around. You're like, just in the, like, those different games like Dota or League of Legends, like you just want to be one of those guys that's running around in the forest and just jumps out and kill steals. <laughs> or, or anything like that. You, you're kind of like, almost like, they're like snipers almost, but like snipers that come in and club you. And so... Again, Storm Boys are my favorite unit. They're just so fun to play. The, the fast attack slots actually are my favorite to play. And so we'll get right into War Bikers, which are also fantastic. So just click here for the link and we'll get right into War Bikes.